extreme storms, hotter seasons. With a specialized degree in climate, he's pioneering the way we look at climate and how it affects our weather. Now, climate specialist Jeff Berardelli. In today's climate classroom, for the first time ever, Alaskan snow crab season is canceled due to a 90% crash in the Bering Sea population, plummeting from 8 billion in 2018 to 1 billion in 2021. Now, this is the latest example of devastating biodiversity loss, coming just days after WWF's latest Living Planet report. The headline is alarming. Wildlife populations of monitored species have declined by 69% since 1970. Now, some of the biggest losses have come in Latin America, Africa, and Asia, due mostly to the destruction of land and the exploitation of resources. The report warns, quote, we have a broken relationship with nature, and there is no sign that the loss of nature is being halted, let alone reversed. For people and nature to thrive, the report says transformational, game-changing shifts are needed to bring nature back to life. I spoke to Rebecca Shaw, WWF's chief scientist, to help put this into perspective. It sounds like it's late to the game, and it sounds like if we don't have transformative change very quickly, that this will destabilize the, um, our ability as human beings uh, to function successfully. What it's telling us is we've lost a lot, an incredible amount. We need to act now, but there's still time for us to, to rebuild those systems, rebuild those populations so that they can actually play their role in the functioning ecosystem that delivers us services. But to do that, the report emphasizes that we have to tackle the climate challenge. Otherwise, it will become the dominant cause of biodiversity loss in the coming decades. You can't solve one without solving the other. A lot of things, that is, the things we need to do to solve the climate problem are also things we need to do to, to solve the nature problem. And if we don't address them together and we don't do, do so quickly, we really have a decade to really do it for both of them. We do so at our own peril. But Shaw says she's optimistic. This issue has now been elevated. Just as the world meets to set goals on climate change each year, the world now does the same for nature. Their lofty goal is a full recovery by 2050. For more Climate Classroom, visit WFLA.com. Jeff Berardelli, 8 on your side.